So, your trusty blink camera is not recording any motion and you have no idea why. Well, worry not for that's why we are here to show you how you can fix your blink cameras not detecting motion. Hey, welcome to Blink Blink. Let's get started. Frequently overlooked option on the Blink app is the armed and disarmed status of your Blink cameras. Only when your Blink camera is armed, it will detect and record motion events. So make sure that your camera is armed. To check if your system is on, open the Blink app on your phone. At the bottom of the home screen, you should notice two options marked as armed and disarmed. Tap on the armed option to arm your cameras. The Blink app on your phone has a plethora of features that affect the motion detection of your camera. Using the app, you can configure settings for motion detection sensitivity, clip length, re-trigger time, and activity zones for your cameras. Motion detection sensitivity deals with the sensitivity of your Blink camera to record motion. The re-trigger time is the time that the camera waits before recording after detecting a motion event. Clip length is how long the recorded clip should last. Activity zones are the areas of your camera's field of view that you want the Blink cameras to detect motion from. So make sure that you have all these settings configured as per your needs. Blink cameras needs a connection to the Blink servers in order to relay the footage that it records to the Blink app on your phone. Though it does this using the Blink Sync module as an intermediary between the Blink cameras and the Blink servers, the whole communication process takes place via the internet. So if your Wi-Fi is having issues, your Blink camera might not be able to communicate with you regarding the motion that it detects. You can get a general idea of the signal strength between your Blink Sync module and the Blink camera by going into the Blink app on your phone and tapping on the Sync module icon on the home screen. You'll notice a Wi-Fi indicator on top. If this Wi-Fi indicator is blue, you should be good to go. But if it's red or yellow, you should consider moving your Sync module closer to your internet router. One important thing to note is that Blink cameras only support the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi signal band and not the newer and faster 5 GHz or 6 GHz Wi-Fi signals. If you're using batteries to power your Blink cameras, consider switching them out for a fresh pair as a low power can result in some features not working as seamlessly. Now, Blink cameras are advertised to last two full years on AA batteries, but the numbers widely differ based on your usage. Perform a power cycle on your Blink cameras as well, so that you ensure that it gets evenly charged. Power cycle can help in resetting all the charges from within the system, so that your Blink cameras can start afresh. Start by removing the old batteries from your Blink cameras and letting the device sit idle for about a minute. Then, put in a fresh pair of AA batteries and let the camera sit idle in its powered on state for about a minute. You can also perform a power cycle on your Blink Sync module as well by unplugging it from power for about a minute and plugging it back. If the above steps fail, you might need to reset your Blink Sync module to its factory settings. To reset your Blink Sync module, locate and press the reset button on the back for about 5 seconds till a red light flashes. Then open the Blink app on your phone and tap on the Sync module offline banner. Then Tap on the Delete Sync Module option and enter or scan its serial number. Tap on Delete and then follow the instructions on the screen to add it again. And there you have it. All you need in order to fix your Blink camera's not detecting motion. Ensure that your Blink camera is armed and ready. Thoroughly go through and configure the motion detection settings of your Blink camera as per your needs of course. Check the power situation of the cameras. Check the Wi-Fi connection and reset your Blink Sync module to its factory settings. We hope that this video was useful and helped solve all your problems with your Blink cameras. If you liked it, please consider leaving a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Blink related content.